some viewers think Mike Burke made a fool of himself by laughing at Gino Palazzolo during the 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days Tell All. Part 1 of the Tell All featured all of the Before the 90 Day Season 5 couples except Caleb Greenwood and his ex-girlfriend Alina Kazhevikova, who was fired for her racist posts. Gino and Mike, the controversial men of the 90 Day Fiancé season, bonded when they met on the reunion set. Mike showed off his bald head and joked that Gino should take his hat off. Gino confessed to Mike that he was concerned about the questions coming at him, and Mike divulged his friends have concerns about Zamina. In his confessional, Gino revealed he was interested in knowing what Zamina was in this for. Gino wanted to find out if Zamina is with Mike to come to America and get a green card. However, Mike and Zamina's chaotic segment was saved for part two of the tell-all. In the first half, the focus was on Gino, his inability to satisfy Jasmine, and his past as a sugar daddy. As Jasmine and Gino discussed their relationship troubles with 90 Day Fiancé host Sean Robinson, Mike was seen giggling whenever the camera flashed on him. Tell the truth, Gino laughed Mike when it was revealed that Gino has been texting Ben Rathbun's friend Jessica. He asked Gino to reciprocate that passion and just have sex with Jasmine, who claimed she was deprived. Dot Mike also rolled his eyes at Gino when he admitted to paying women to go on dates with him. Mike's jaw dropped as Jasmine claimed Gino has been on 30 such dates. He shook his head and mocked Gino after he explained that a sugar baby sugar daddy relationship is one where a man pays for companionship. Upon seeing Mike's expressions during Tell All, Viewers such as T-O-D-W-G-R-E-E-N-1 claimed, Mike Simbe is judging Gino for being on Sugar Baby websites when he met Zamina on a cam site. Meanwhile, Dotted was revealed early on in Mike and Zamina's storyline that he spent a lot of money on her and sent her gifts such as a couch, a coffee machine, and even a dining table. This is why when Zamina broke up with Mike, his first reaction was to take the gifts back. Zamina wanted to throw Mike out of the house, but he demanded to stay because he paid the rent. More shockingly, Mike met Zamina on a webcam site and asked her to quit being an adult model as he could pay for what she needed. Thus, Mike trying to come across as a superior person to Gino felt hypocritical to viewers. They wished Mike would not hide his insecurity behind his laughter or jabs and instead could become aware of himself and stay away from delusions. Dot and the 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Days Tell All Part 2, the spotlight will be on Mike as Zamina admits she doesn't love him on camera one more time. It's likely that Gino won't be judging Mike when it's shown that Mike also pays Zamina to be with him in his own transactional relationship. In many ways, Mike is the same as Gino when it comes to finding women in foreign countries to date. Hopefully, he shows more self-awareness in the remainder of the tell-all.